Hi everyone, this is Yame Kim Sensei. Yame Kim, Yame Kim. I changed my name as just Yame Kim, simply. Uh, today I will show you how to capture the Wi Fi Air so using MacBook. Actually, there are two ways. So, using Wireshark, we can very easily and simply capture the packet, but I think it's not stable because it captured the SSID where my PC is connected. So if SSI disconnected, you cannot capture. Uh, second thing is using the embedded MangoS Wi-Fi sniffer. It's more stable, but during this capture, you cannot use the internet. But anyway, so I will show you one by one. First one is Wireshark. Uh, as I told you, with using Wireshark, you can capture the air the where you are connected. The, exactly connect the SSID. Uh, click the option key and click the Wi-Fi but Wi-Fi the icon. Then you can see which the channel the is you are connected. Uh, my PC is connected to channel two and two dot four gigahertz and the bandwidth is twenty meg twenty meg. And it's SSID Douglas dot MGMT. So I will capture this one. Okay. And first, uh, I will ping to show you about ping, and then I will run Wireshark. After run the Wireshark, uh, go to capture and option, and go to monitor. Actually, this default is uh, Ethernet. Go to the monitor, the tab, and click it. Then uh, we show you the option that eleven plus radio tab header. Anyway, there are four options. You can choose what you want. The option is slightly different, but anyway. Oh my God! Go to option and tap and start. Then you can see the what's going on over the air. So. So because I did the ping, it pinged to the my client. Very simply, easily, you can check it. Okay. The second thing is, second thing is embedded MagOS embedded Wi-Fi sniffer. Usually, the people use it. It's more stable. Uh, click the option key and uh, the Wi-Fi button, Wi-Fi icon. And you can see the open wireless diag. Click it. Then you can choose channel what you want, also bandwidth. And start the give the password. Then it will change like that. And the packet is captured here for temp. I'm using another the laptop. So I will connect that. that uh, the SSID, then you can see it. It's connected. I will disconnect it. Okay. And this is saved here. So I stop it. Then I will go to the folder. Okay. This file. I will move that to the move that my folder download folder here this is what I captured if you see this one uh, you can find my another laptop was associated very easy uh, if you go down, there will be another color. Oh my god. Here, the DSCP is working here. So before that, they will be associate here. Uh, this PC is try to associate. As associate, then some packet from the laptop. And then IP getting 
and pink was maybe somewhere with another color then finally disconnected oh my god this is bigger frame you can filter then except become I filtered then here a sock and IP getting and ARP over there then final DS so connection is done as like that we can see it uh, this is a uh, example uh, I tested using the MacBook Air Capture uh, I tested the uh, whips how it working the whips send the DS so continuously so at the time uh, as I did it so just to I did filter it, then I see what's going on over there. Sometimes I did filter using the MAC address like that. So most important thing is actually when you make the trouble again. I mean reproduce the trouble. Uh, the SSID is should be open to see the packet. If not, you cannot see the inside the packet, so uh, actually it should happily done. So the, uh, using the MacBook Air Capture, we can troubleshoot some Wi-Fi issues very easily. Today, it was very simple. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.